Well, this is a bit of a spur of the moment, really, because what I've decided to do is um, show you, I couldn't decide where to walk, where we actually are at the grounds to the hospital, which my grandfather used to uh, have run. It's all houses now, but um, this is the original building here. Oops, sorry. And that's an original part of the building too. And I'm going to walk towards where that tower is because actually that was Grandpa's office. So, and this was all part of the grounds. That's um, part of the original. It's now a cricket field or football club or something. And all of this land here is all part of the grounds. So we'll have a little pot around the edge. It's very nice. There's the stream which runs where these trees are. Good boy, Ben. Look at him rolling. <laughs> oh, Ben, you'll be full of sand. Oh, you always have to do this, don't you, before I take you back to Mum's. You'll be just filthy. Good boy. So, yeah, what we'll do is we'll walk around this edge bit. And, um, and then I'm going to show you where Grandpa's office was. So, we are on our way back to Mum's anyway. <coughs> I had a crisis. I thought I'd lost my bank card. But I found it just before I was about to call to get it stopped. So that was lucky. It would have been a bit of a pain to have to get it stopped because I don't actually have any cash on me. I try not to carry money around me. But anyway, that's all by the by. We're going to do this. <laughs> Good boy, Ben. You enjoying that? All those nice rolls in the sand? It's actually really strange because there's loads of sand beneath this grass. I don't know why. And I also don't really know why we've got all of this um, orange fencing going around the edge. It's annoying because it's stopping us from getting through to where ideally we would like to have been. I probably should have walked down the streamway because then I could have um, shown you where we want to be. As it is, we're cut off from there in a really annoying way. It was a very beautiful hospital when it was all in its original format. You know, you can tell by the architecture, it's nice looking. We might just be able to get a peep across here. These trees are in the way a bit though. How frustrating that this fence is blocking me off from where I want to be. I'm going to go on to zoom. So, you can see the clock tower. I wonder if there's a way I can stand, maybe. You see that door there? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this very easily from this angle. How annoying. Because that was Grandpa's office. And little Ben's crying. Come on then. There's people over there, so I don't want to really climb over the fence. But we might have to do so. We're going to do so. Ben! Come here, little. Ben! Come here. I think you know. Come on. Come here. Ben, come here. Good boy. Let's just pop you over there. Good lad. Yay, we've done it. So, it's just it's someone's house now, so I don't want to uh, stand and film too much. And also, it's a road. So, I don't want men running into it. I'm glad we... <laughs> Glad we hopped over there, regardless of the people playing by, behind me. 
is it? I can show you this building now. Here it is. So, let's zoom in to see more details. Here's the clock tower thing. It's not on the right time because it's now just gone half five. It says 1901 on the detail there. I wonder if I zoom in. There, that's good. We can see it better, can't we? It's almost like a coat of arms. So, those are not the original windows, but they are in the original style, and it's definitely not the original door. Um, I always thought Grandpa's office was on the right-hand side, but I'd need to double-check that with Mum. Anyway, there you go. That was his base of operations. The buildings to the right are new, as is that behind. It's just these buildings here, which are the original ones. So, I can't show you Mum's house from this side, because we're miles away from it. It was um, down there. <laughs> I can't imagine what it must have been like growing up here. It must have been really strange because like, Mum was born in the 40s and uh, mental health back then, it really, really wasn't like it is now. So there would have been, yeah, it just would have been, well, I, I imagine as a child growing up in these grounds, as your playground, it must have been odd. But yeah, where the house was where Mum lived, it was actually quite a way back from this section. And um, huge, really huge. It was a mansion. There's the other building, which was the original one. I'm just going to... Um... Good boy, Ben. <laughs> nice little playground we're walking by. I like this tree. So, come on then, we're going to go into these woods. Look at this lovely little uh, gap in the hedge. So, when we get out of here, which we shall in a moment, um, yeah, we'll just go this way, because even though I'm pretty sure you can get out to the left, I'm not so sure that I want to uh, try, just in case I'm wrong. All of this has always been like this. And actually, where we're going to walk towards is one of the farms, which... Um, the patients used to work, well, the, the, the hospital was self-sufficient and uh, I think there's a couple of farms which used to uh, provide everything that they needed here and I also believe that people, patients, if they were well enough, could go and work on the farms so they had jobs and stuff. Come on then, we're not going down that way, sweetie, it doesn't lead anywhere. When I was a kid, the fields to the left here were all part of a bull farm and there used to be these huge bulls in all the fields. Um, and there was a little girl who used to live at the house at the end of the drive. Just, you'll see, um, we're going to walk along a drive uh, shortly. <laughs> anyway, um, in, in the summertime, she used to stand on the wall to her house and she'd literally be almost standing on the bull's backs. Um, if they were tethered close enough to her house, they'd be able to like reach the wall. And she used to scratch their backs with her feet. <laughs> Crazy, really, because these bulls, they were huge. They were proper bulls, you know. Um, but I guess they were her friends. 
Anyway, that's all finished with now. It's been closed down for years. The bull farm ended around the same time as, um, as around the same time that the hospital closed down, actually. Look at these woods. You can see how well established they are. Gosh, everything always looks so green with this uh, camera. Well, and in reality, too. Beautiful, this, isn't it? Good boy, then. I meant to be at dinner at six, at mum's for six, but um, I've rearranged it to half past. So we've got a little bit more time. I couldn't decide where to go for the walk because it's a bit overcast and the sky's not very nice. And anywhere to film, I always want to have a nice sky if I can. Well, anyway, I was in a toss up between the rocks at uh, Ilkley, or the river, down at Burley, or, anyway, if this wasn't even an option, and then I changed my mind and decided we'll come here. So down there, it, it's called, they've changed, it used to be called Rose Farm, but it looks like it's changed the name to Scalable Park Farm. Strange. <laughs> But that was always Rose Farm down there. I'm sure of it. Now I feel like I'm going mad. <laughs> oh dear. Come on little Ben, we're going to walk up this way. And these fields to my left here, that's one of the fields which used to house all the bulls. Um, not just that field, because there's one the driveway which I spoke about is just back at the other side of that hedge where the trees are and the house where the little girl used to live is this down here. There it is. It's all changed ownership now, not the same person who lives there anymore. This, but yeah, so we used to ride up here all the time. There's loads of fields around here you can ride in. I wish I could turn the clock back. <laughs> it would be nice. And actually this driveway we're about to walk on um, leads up to... Good boy then. Gosh, I can't breathe again today. Just like yesterday. I think because it's quite humid, it's not helping my lungs any. Um, trying to get the light, but that's better. So the moors are just up there on the horizon. Well, really behind those trees, the moors start. And that's Burley Woodhead, really, is what we call this section of Burley in Wharfdale. Um, and it just runs straight into Ilkleymore, so the two are very much interwoven. I'll zoom in so you can see. There, all the moors start up at the top. All right, then again, start walking again now. I'm not filming for more than 25 minutes for this. I don't think it's necessary. You know, it's not that exciting. She says, it, you know, it's, probably, it's quite interesting to see other areas, I suppose, but I don't think it's uh, worthy of doing loads of segments. These houses look quite nice now. It's taken a long time for them to grow into themselves, but they do finally. <laughs> They're finally starting to look a bit older. When I was a kid, these houses were all like new. Um, but they have to be, yeah, well, that one was built in 2000. So let me think back to when I was a kid then. There must only have been a couple here. Oh, hang on a moment. I think there was offices here when I was a kid. That's right. And around the same time that they were building on the hospital, they added houses to here. Gosh, it's amazing how you can forget things. You see, there were, yeah, there was always buildings here, but 
not the bike there is now. There's a car coming and I didn't pick up a lead. Come on, little Ben, we'll wait in the edge. We'll film the sheepies. Good boy. Ben. Ben, come here. Little monkey. Never did feel the sheepies because Ben kept moving. And he didn't want him to move into the car. Look, I want to show you this house up here because it's a funny thing. Let's see, I think when I zoom in it'll pick up. This one here, you see up there at the top. Somewhere behind there is where the uh, Twelve Apostles are, which is uh, where there's meant to be a portal. Well, that's, you know, what they say. I'm sure there probably is. I'm sure that uh, over, the use, over the years it, it must be a place which is being used for rituals and stuff. I haven't ever been there. People all like say to me, oh, I can't believe you haven't been, but... In all honesty, I can't imagine why I'd want to go when it's well known for the fact that it's a ritual area <coughs> with a portal there. I mean, I know there's portals everywhere, but if there's a place which you actually know for a fact has been used for it, for, for the purposes of you know, using it. I can't imagine why you'd want to go and visit it. So, I haven't been. <laughs> I, I did toy with the idea a few years ago. But, no, it's just never felt right to do so. And certainly, knowing what I know now, makes me think, for all these years I've never been there. Why go now? So, oh, this poor sheep, it looks a little bit raggedy. I'll film it in a second. Hello, sheepy. Let's just get you on. You know, your babies look big, aren't they now? It's not really got its eye on me, it's got its eye on Ben. You need your hair cutting, don't you? <laughs> Bless. Right, let's keep moving. I can't believe it, we're already 20 minutes in. Amazing how fast the time goes by. Oh, I just saw a squirrel, but... It's moving too quickly. Already gone right up to the top of the tree. I didn't have a chance to film. Well, I wasn't going to keep filming, and then it just rudely chopped me off mid sentence, even though it told me that I, that I had time left. So, this is why I need to get a new memory card because. Sorry, little one, it's just the gate. Because we don't like being chopped off mid sentence, it's rude. Um, I don't even know really why I've, as a result, switched. Are you alright, darling? Sorry, I can't decide where to look. That's where we just walk, were walking up, away from the hospital grounds. And it's quite hard, actually, to film and it not be too dark, even though it's only early. So... Here we are in this field, and up there is the moors. Um, I actually do think that I am going to stop filming, and we'll just probably call this segment a little taster, except really <laughs> there's nothing in here which is remotely like where I've just been filming, um, because 
got myself in it for a moment. We were just filming the hospital which Grandpa used to run. Um, well, I, I, I filmed what, what I could of what's still, still as it was. In actual fact, I just had a great idea. I think rather than, hmm, I was going to say rather than, rather than filming here, I might have uh, gone back down there and we could have filmed other parts, but I don't think the light's good enough actually. And also, I don't think I've got time to do that, so maybe I'll just leave it. We're just coming towards a quite a nice wooded area. And then I'm going to turn around anyway and go back the way we've come because I've got to be... Let's see what the time is. Well, it's five to six now. I've got to be at mum's for half past. So anyway, I'm turning this round because I feel so silly. That's better. Oh, Ben's having a roll again. Good boy. Come on. I want to, I don't actually, I'd rather he had a good roll in this grass. Because he was rolling in sand and stuff before. Good boy. Is that nice? You know, it's ever so funny because this little chap here was never interested in rolling up until just really recently. But now he seems to love it. <coughs> nice little patch of trees here. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, put this onto pause. And if anything interesting comes up to film, then I can do so and it will still be part of this same segment. This is uh, where we've come from. Down here, you see the woods on the hill side. That's an area that I want to film. It's, a, it's actually called Deer Park. It's Otley Shevin. Um, Otley being the next neighbouring town, really. Um, I wouldn't call it a village, it's a small market town. So, yeah. And the reason why I kept this running is because this is lovely woods ahead of us. But we can't go in there because there'll be all sorts of traps and whatnot. We do actually do uh, pheasant pheasant uh, farming up here. There is actually even in this field across from us here. Hang on, I'll show you. Well, you can't really see it because it's underground, but there's a shooting, like a shooting uh, tunnel thing. It's in this field somewhere, I think. This is all part of, in fact, this land I'm on now is all part of uh, Carolyn's sister's land. They actually own a ridiculous amount of land um, where Carolyn's house is, all the fields over there. Not all of them, but as far as the eye can see, pretty much belong to them as well. Maybe, well, <laughs> I almost was going to go and film those. Maybe I could, uh, maybe I could do that. Not now, not today, I haven't got time, but... Maybe I could make this into like a free part thingy-majiggy and complete it by filming what um, other bits of the hospital I can, which isn't much, but it'd be nice to try and get a couple of shots of Mum's old house. And also then we could complete it by filming from the other side. We'll see. I mean, it's only really so relevant because this is all like my childhood stuff. Old childhood haunts and stuff. And here's the moors just here, I'll show you. There, just beyond those trees. You can see how the land changes and there's bits of brown and stuff. Anyway, we're going to turn around here. And we're going to play with little Ben and it's so hard to play with him and film, isn't it? It's 
we need to find you a stick or something. We'll do that. I'm going to put this on to pause just in case we end up filming again. But if we don't, honestly, I promise you that the main segment of this is so much completely different to this part which I've just filmed. It's much more interesting. All right then, bye bye. Right, well, I've switched this back on because there's actually two things which are probably are quite interesting if you uh, aren't from either Yorkshire or, uh, or well, or if you're American. <laughs> and that is, firstly, I'm standing in front of a dry stone wall, which is the traditional way of keeping all the land partitioned up here. Um, so yeah, th this is a dry stone wall. It's quite, they are quite an art to building them. But also, actually, the, the wall wasn't the initial reason that I've uh, started filming. It was just that I suddenly thought that maybe you don't have them in America, I don't know. What I wanted to show you, let's see, yeah, you can see, is this beautiful meadow here. With all the wild flowers in it, growing in it. Unfortunately, traditional meadows, they just aren't as common as you would imagine because most farmers... I'm sorry, Ben, we'll be moving in a second. Most farmers do uh, weed kill. But here, this is definitely like a traditional meadow. Or it looks like it to me. The only thing missing is poppies, but poppies have just stopped flowering over here, so... I'm going to uh, move away because Ben's getting quite upset. And that aeroplane was so noisy. Look at this poor tree here, it's all dead. It's got some little bits clinging on for life, but it definitely looks dead to me. I've got really wet walking across here because the ground's soaking. Now, I hope I can find Ben's stick for him again. Yay! Good boy, Ben. Come on, let's throw this for you. I'll show you the meadow from a distance. Oh, you've picked it up on your own. Let me chuck it. No, he doesn't want me to chuck it. So yeah, here's. I'll show you the meadow from a distance if the light will allow. There, there we go. You see, you can tell. See how different it is compared to the other fields. I mean, it's maybe not fair to compare it to the fields around it because they aren't that crop fields. Whereas this does look like it will be chopped into hay. Be very tasty hay with all those nice flowers in it. Some sheepies over there. Look, they'll scan about whilst we're on Zoom. This field here, I mean, doesn't get used for hay. This is just being rested. At the moment, it has sheep in here sometimes, sometimes cows. Although I don't recall seeing cows in here for a long time, but no, I think it does sometimes. I don't really come up here that often anymore. Good boy, you were uh, destroying that. When uh, Carolyn was ill, I used to walk her dogs for her every uh, day, but that was a few years ago now. I'm just going to chop this stick for Ben. <laughs> Bless his heart. So it's just sweetie pie. Aren't you? You have such a sweetie pie. I did have two, but he's destroyed the other one. Come on, I'll chuck it for you again. I don't think this is well enough to be able to pull because it's actually rotten. Ben, let go. If you don't want me to throw it for you, I'll let go. Oh dear. Pull, pull, pull then. Oh, I'll let you. Okay, he's winning. He's winning. We saw monkey. I'm going to pause this again. And, oh, <laughs> I let go of it. I didn't do it on purpose though. Yeah, I'm going to pause this again because what I think I might be able to do is um, we might be able to film some other buildings at the end of the drive. I, I'm not sure though. 
purely because um, I've not got a lead with me. It could be a little bit, yeah, in actual fact, I think it'll be too difficult because... Um, well, we'll see. Ben, you can let me chuck it for you. I have to let go. Go on then, it's all yours. Yeah, so I'll pause it again. If we don't end up switching on, then that's that. This is it. But if it does get interesting, I'll switch it back on. Well, I've switched it back on just one last time. Just so that you could see up there on the moors, you can see where the rock formations that I've been filming, you know, they do actually go right through the whole valley. So... Um, just trying to get a better focus. It's quite a nice house up there, but you can't really see it very well from this angle. There's some really beautiful houses around here. I mean, they are all proper mansions. They're certainly houses which, if you won the lottery, you would want to buy. <laughs> um, and what I probably forgot to say when I was walking back up when we were walking up the drive um which leads to my friend's farm good boy ben go on here you go is that yeah when i was a kid there was two stables up here you see it's all private up there now really but um it used to lead to two farms it still does it's just that the second one isn't in my life anymore but um the livery yard I used to ride at when I was older than what I used to be when I used to just ride Carolyn's daughter's horse. I would have been maybe 11, 12, 13, around those ages. Um, and so I used to cycle from mum's house. I used to cycle up this road, which as you can see, it's made horribly. And it's a really long way because actually, um, cycling to that farm up there it's like um oh, it's about three miles from from mum's house um definitely the last mile and a half of it up roads like this it was a bit of a killer and it's all uphill <laughs> i must have been so fit back in those days because i could certainly i think it would kill me going up there now it used to nearly kill me back then so Actually, the farm which I used to uh, ride at back then, well, sorry, I say ride at it, I practically lived there. <laughs> it was like my, any stables I've ever been at, especially when I was a child, they always used to be, they became like home from home, because I spent so much time at them. Um, anyhow, yeah, so, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, when I fractured my skull, I was going cycling, because, oh, right, okay, the stables, it was, like, situated right between Burley, which is this village at this side, and um, Ben Ridding, which is where Grandpa lived in Ilkley. I'm going to put this on pause because we're walking towards people. Yeah, so, um, yeah, um, so we used to cycle down the Ben Ridding side of it and towards Ilkley to go get sweets and stuff. So there's a sweet shop down there, and it was... The road, which it was called Benedict Drive, which we used to go down, it was more like this is here. But it was a massive hill. And that's where I ended up fracturing my skull. <laughs> I nearly killing myself when I was 13. I did actually, I literally did nearly kill myself. I'm not just saying it in jest. So, we are walking towards the houses and where the road is. I want, because I thought I might be able to film a bit from a distance. The walls are too high on them to be able to film them properly, though. But this is a nice one here. You get the gist. You can see what kind of properties they are. I mean, most of that's hidden by the trees. Oh, there's another one hip here, which that's the one I was trying to film before. But again, you get the gist, I'm sure. Lots of money on this road. Well, not this road, but the road we're heading towards. How much filming? I've got 10 minutes filming time left. But we probably won't even be filming for the whole time. Because we're only about 5 minutes away from 
where we want to be. I mean, from where I, from my car is. So, in the interest of not getting chopped off again, I'm thinking, shall I pause this until we get a bit close to the end? That said, it is rather a nice avenue of trees we're walking through, isn't it? And you know, where all this grass here is like to my waist. <laughs> when I was, oi, oi, Ben, leave it. Ben wanted to eat this lovely horse manure, but he didn't. <laughs> My eyes are running like crazy. I think I've got hay, hay fever this year. It's the only explanation. Look, I'm going to show you. Look. Poorly eyes. Oh, Ben's looking at me like, what's she doing? Bless her. Must have hay fever. But yeah, when I was a kid, all of this grass used to be chopped. So it was all like proper lawns. Because if you rode on them, it was a bit of a naughty thing to do. But that said, <laughs> it was so much fun cantering along this grass up here. Even though we weren't really meant to. If you were being naughty, it was a gorgeous, nice, long canter. <clears throat> oh, Ben's just found some water to play in. Let's hope we catch him in time. <laughs> well anyhow, for anyone who's maybe ended up on this second segment first, uh, we are back now where we started, which here we are at the hospital grounds. Well I say that obviously it's not still a hospital, but this is where filming began. So if you have ended up watching this segment first, I really would advise you to uh, to watch the uh, first one because I well, if you're interested like to watch the first one because that's what you'll see in it um, so I'm gonna stop filming now and thank you for watching if you want to comment oh look at the sky it's going to rain isn't it yeah, if you want to comment, feel free, of course. Just so zooming in, here we have it. Grandpa's old office and the lovely clock tower. Let's try and get the light right there. All right then, signing out now. Bye bye from myself and Ben says bye too. Bye.